Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I wanted to go over how duplicate transactions can end up in your bank feeds. Uh, there's a few reasons for it. Um, still trying to figure out actually one of the reasons. But I wanted to show you, I've been seeing this in the community forum. I'll just bring one question up where somebody asked to get duplicate downloaded transactions. And the answer from Intuit, looks like Gian Carlo, uh, community support specialist is that sometimes you can have an auto rule in place and I have seen that if you have an auto rule that every time a QuickBooks payment fee like the little 50 cent fee or the fee for your merchant account comes in what it does is it if you have it set up to automatically go to bank fee in the bank fee to go to bank charges it comes in kind of pending and if your auto rule is in place it'll actually put it into the into the register and then when the payment settles into the bank account it'll actually download it a second time and will only match onto one so you'll have these duplicate transactions so it's a good idea not to make an auto rule for those particular transactions but let's go to my bank account so I actually have my <laughs> my credit card account here in place and I'm going to reconcile so as I come over here I've already entered my ending balance here and the date so that's all in place and normally you come in here and it'll match up perfectly right you've downloaded all the transactions and it should match perfectly to your banking um, off by 1087 and I'll get into that a little bit later but I wanted to show you the transactions first thing I do is look here to make sure my clear date everything's in within the range the credit card statement ran through 930 so this cleared on the 28th and it should be checked off, but if I check it off, it's going to throw this balance off by more. So I need to look on the statement to see if it actually did clear. And I can see right away the 1087, but that also cleared on the 26th of September. So the 30th, you would assume that shows on your register, but let's take a peek and see if it did. So that was for name cheap. So let's see if the 1087 is on there in the 6950. So we'll come down here. So here's the end of my statement and there is no 1087 you can kind of come right through here and see there's no 1087 so I do need to take off the 1087 amount which is going to reconcile me I also did not see the 6950 here I see the first one for payroll but I don't see the second one so it just didn't make the statement even though the statement range is within the parameters of my um, my date range here and, and the clear date is within that it just didn't make my statement so now I'm reconciled but I found this weird transaction. So when I reconcile this particular one, which I've done now, you can see the zero balance. When I go to do that, I'm going to create a payment to pay this credit card because I know I have it set on auto pay. As you can see, I have auto pay here and it's going to be paid on the date it's due. So I don't have to worry about ever forgetting to pay my credit card. I always pay it in full. But why do I have a, the credit card payment here and then I have it again as a charge and then again as a deposit and this is just started it's the first time I've seen this happen in QuickBooks Online so I'm thinking it's a glitch with their bank they've been working on the bank reconciliation a little bit every time you see these updates or these problems with the system you know they're usually working on something so I know they're working on this where did this transaction come from was it a transaction I downloaded I'm thinking since I had it in place for the actual bank account that this particular transaction here, since it doesn't have a match and neither does this one, now I know I can delete this because it's not from the banking, I need to go into this one and edit it and see how it was in play. So here it is, it says it's got an online bank match. I'm thinking it came through on the credit card side of the download. So when you go to your download, you'll see the transaction on both sides. But as you can see here, it's a payment to city card and it's two city card but it says Bank of America so I'm not sure why it's showing on both sides I'll go to the bank detail and it's just showing the payment which was manually entered so if I try to remove it it's probably going to tell me that it's reconciled so I don't want to remove this transaction so let's go to this other one that's also going to match and let's take a peek at that to see what that one says so that's the auto pay and it's from city card to city card so it's hitting the same account twice this is the one I want to delete I don't want to delete the one that's attached to the bank account because I've already reconciled my bank account 
So this is probably from the credit card side of the transaction. This is the one I want to delete. So you'll know when you click in here, if I come in here to delete this, are you sure you want to delete it? There's nothing in there that says it's been reconciled. So this is the transaction I want to remove. I'm going to say yes. Now I'm off by the 1376. Now this is sitting here not with a match. So let's go back, let's open up a se separate tab and see if I can get that to see that transaction and maybe connect to it. Let's wait for it to open. Let's come to City Card. Now it's matched it. So I'm going to match it. This just came in today. I'm very excited, my stand-up desk, because I get very tired. I sit sometimes, especially when I'm teaching QuickBooks. I can sit for one to two hours, and I just need to stand up. And this was really inexpensive. So if you're interested, just reach out to me, and I will give you the information on this. But the stand-up desk, this is how I'll add it. I have not opened it up out of the box yet, but I know it's a good one because a friend of mine actually... Um, has it and has been using it. So let me hit enter here, add that name, and it's going to be office. Office supplies, because that's what it is. So I'm going to add that to my amount. So now that's in the account. So now I've matched up. We'll come back here and see how it's still not matched, but that's because I opened a tab, so I don't have to lose my place in this screen. So I'm just going to cycle this through to refresh the screen. So now it'll bring it back and it will have it pre-checked off. And now my balance is zero. So I'm going to hit finish now. And I've reconciled it, and I'm going to pay the whole bill. So I'm going to create that payment, and I just want to put my city card vendor up here. And now I've paid my payment. So another thing I like to do is also add my statement that I've scanned to my payment. So I have that in my records. I have a totally paperless office, so I'm really excited about that. That was a goal of mine for 2017, and I've accomplished it so all my documents are here so here's my city card statement I've already scanned it I'm just gonna slide it in here and attach it to my actual full payment and because it's paid when it's due it's ACH and it gets paid around the 20 oh, let's look payment due date is the 24th it's set to auto pay on the 24th so I want to show that as being paid on the 24th so I'm just going to put the date of the 24th here and now I'm done yay reconcile my account success so I'm done here so be wary when you come to the downloads you want to make sure that you're entering them properly and you don't get duplicates, but that's a way of fixing the duplicate transaction. You just want to be really careful because it can be really messy if you delete the one that was on the reconciled side. You want to make sure that it, when you go to delete it, you look read the warning. So don't just get really fast and click happy. And I'm saying that as someone who has done that in their own work. I've hit it and I've clicked it and I'm like, oh crap, that wasn't the one I wanted to delete. So you just make sure you delete the correct one. Thank you so much. Bye now.